Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. I know it's been a while since we've seen this series on the channel, but we had to take a little break, do some Madden 20 uh, to try to build up the channel a little bit. And it hasn't really done a whole lot for the channel, I guess. Got about the same amount of subscribers this month as I normally do, so no big change in that regard. But let's get into this, folks. Week 6 is upon us. This is game number 1. North Dakota State is going to be traveling to take on Big 12 opponent Chattanooga. Let's take a look at the Sports Illustrated. Green Wave need overtime. Of course, Savannah State just lost their second game of the season. They only lost once all last year, and they are now 2-2 two and two on the year. And they'll be taking on Delaware State here in a couple days. But here's the rest of the top 25. Cal Poly jumps up to 9th in the country after they win over VMI. Savannah State will drop to 14th. Their national championship hopes are shattered yet again this season, just like last year when Bryant beat them. VMI drops to 15th. They still have a shot at the title, as well as UC Davis and Jacksonville. UC Davis, a big subscriber versus subscriber game coming up this week as they will be taking on the Northern Colorado Bears, who have been phenomenal in subscriber versus subscriber games. They are 2-1. UC Davis is 1-2, so polar opposites in that regard. Heisman watch time. Nixon is getting some Heisman buzz after a 204-yard performance. Mm, too bad he's not on there. Brandon Allen is still number one, 1,213 yards, 14 touchdowns on the ground. No touchdown catches yet. Greg Hopkins, eight touchdowns, 572 yards for Fresno State. MJ Gator Jr., the defending Heisman winner. He is third currently. And Sonny Six, the true freshman halfback for the Dayton Flyers with nine touchdowns over 500 yards. Kyle Parker makes his first ever appearance, the quarterback for Georgia Southern. The triple option attack has got 815 yards through the air, 414, or 442, excuse me, on the ground with 16 touchdowns. Georgia Southern looking like they're going to be a force here this season. Players of the week, Tim Nixon, there he is, 204 yards, four touchdowns, and the win over Murray State. John Estes, freshman middle linebacker, a non-subscriber player for UC Davis, had five tackles, two for a loss, sack, and interception, and pit, uh, touchdowns, I believe. Cy Summers, defensive player of the week for Bryant, 14 tackles, 10 for a loss, insane numbers, two forced fumbles. And Brandon Allen, of course, with monstrous numbers as well for Bryant. The Big Ten, Northern Iowa has a couple players here. 171 yards on eight catches, three touchdowns for Ryan Justice. And their linebacker did quite well as well. B.J. Wade, senior quarterback for Sam Houston State, 370 yards, three touchdowns. And Zeke Marunde, player of the week for the defense for the Big 12. Steven Fuller, freshman wide receiver. He had a phenomenal day against Dartmouth in that 27-20 win. And Matt Babcock, eight tackles, two interceptions, and an overtime win over Yale. Adam Ward, 224 yards, two touchdowns on the ground for the Rice Owls. He is nasty. And Terrell Austin, four tackles, interception, forced fumble, and a fumble recovery and a win over Stephen F. Austin. Brian Jones, freshman halfback for Northeastern. Had 130 plus yards, four touchdowns on 16 carries. And Rashad Hill, four tackles for loss, two sacks, and a forced fumble. And it went over Columbia. Northeastern's looking a lot better this year. They only won one game last season, I believe. John Trott, 206 yards on the ground, three touchdowns, 10 receiving yards. Kendall Wright, 14 tackles, five for loss, two sacks, and a pick. Tim Nixon yet again. And on defense, uh, Stephen Bolden. Senior defensive tackle at six tackles for loss, two or six tackles, two for loss, excuse me, and a sack. Brandon Lee, player of the week on offense for the Pac-10, 156 yards, two touchdowns on the ground, and the 51 nothing win over Idaho State. And of course, John Estes is the defensive player of the week. SEC Chris Newby, redshirt junior quarterback, 263 yards, five touchdowns, 43 yards on the ground. Sean Haley, freshman corner, had himself a good game as well. And there's Kyle Parker for the Sun Belt. Georgia Southern, guys, 4-0. They're looking really good. Daniel Johnson, freshman outside linebacker for FAU. Five tackles, three for loss, sack, and an interception. And it rounded out the WAC Conference. Andrew Butler, 162 yards receiving, three touchdowns. Calvin Britt, eight tackles, two for loss, sack, interception, and a forced fumble. And we'll look at the conference standings cover right here. UC Davis is sitting pretty after conference opener against Portland State. Now, we're not going to delve too deep into the conference standings quite yet. It's a little too early in the season, and conference play hasn't really heated up yet. 
But here we are, a conference game, North Dakota State. We'll be traveling today to take on the Chattanooga Mox. And they're going to be without their, without their starting quarterback, Charles Baker. He is out four weeks, so that is a huge loss for the Mox, who are struggling right now. And, and that's, not, that's just not going to help. They're 0-3 right now. Not a good start. And taking a look at the Discord pick em, we will see who had more votes. I'm assuming it's North Dakota State. Let's check it out. The FCS pick em. 23 votes for North Dakota State. One for Chattanooga. And here's Zoomer Speed starting things off on the opening kickoff. Zoomer Speed weaving in and out of traffic. And he is gone. Touchdown, North Dakota State. That is his sixth career kick return for a touchdown. That was a big one, 103 yards to start things off. Let's see if Chattanooga can respond with their backup quarterback. And they're in a tough spot already. Third down and 12 for Essex. He's looking to throw. Deep shot down the middle of the field. Double coverage. Almost picked off by Rodriguez. And C.J. Grant has injured his elbow on the play for the Bison. And hopefully that's nothing serious. Their defense is already pretty thin. On offense now for the first time. The Bison option. Jasper. Left side gets a block downfield, and Kelvin Jasper Jr. is gone. Touchdown, Bison. Oh, my goodness. That is his third touchdown run of the season. Well over 400 yards rushing for the quarterback, and here's a sack for the Bison defense. Four tackles already for Tahoka Nantico. He is the number two halfback on the roster. He also plays some outside linebacker, and he is on punt and kick coverage. Here's Cameron May for the Bison offense. Gets a nice carry up the middle, nine-yard pickup. Gets him over 200 yards rushing this season. And Jasper, deep shot right side. He's got Tahoka Nanako, and he's got the speed inside the five down at the one-yard line. Nanako coming out of nowhere here today with four tackles and a 50-yard reception, and that'll get him to 100 yards receiving on the season. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Jasper punches it in, and that is his fourth touchdown run this season. And his 10th of his career. Third down in inches, and the Mox will get the first down. Austin Bracey takes him down by the face mask. And a little moral victory right there for the Mox. They finally move the chains. Third down and two, goal line set, play action. Essex is gonna be sacked, and that is Dio Langston. His third sack of the season and his ninth of his career. Pretty good stats for the sophomore. Fourth down and eight. They're going to punt this football away. Deep down the field is Oliver Vinson from his own 21-yard line. The non-subscriber cornerback going to go up the left sideline past the 40, past midfield. Pushed out of bounds at the 43. It's third down and 10 now. Three straight incompletions, and Cameron May is stuffed in the backfield. So the Bison punt the football right back to the Mox as they look to get on the board for the first time today. Essex over the middle, and that pass is dropped by a wide open receiver. So they're going to go three and out. Zoomer speed on the sweep. Gets the first down to the 35-yard line. He's got eight touchdown runs this season already. He has been a beast. And Jasper is going to be picked off. He was hit as he threw it. That was Finley on the pick. His only stat of the ball game. And the Mox, a little bit of momentum here. Can they punch it in? Can they finish a drive? And that is going to be a no. Tohuka Nanako gets his second sack of the ball game, his fifth tackle. And the Mox have a long way to go. Phillips fumbles the football, and it's recovered by Chattanooga. So they catch a break there. They do punch the football away. And here are the Bison back on offense. Jasper Jr. picks up eight yards off the left side. Third down and three. Sweet to speed. He's got the first down and more. Look out, folks. Zoomer speed down the sideline, outrunning everybody for the touchdown. That's his second touchdown run of the season, or of the game, 10th of the season. And that was a big one, 56 yards for Zoomer speed. We might be seeing him here on the Heisman watch list soon enough. He shot down the field, deflected away, and that is Grant who makes his way back into the ball game. Bison looking to get something going again here. Deep shot left side. Irwindowski comes down with it. Oh, my goodness. That is Ryan Irwindowski. His brother, Reinhardt, is a phenom over for South Dakota State. And here is Zuma Speed jukes a man out of his jock strap. And he's in the end zone for the touchdown reception. The first of the season for him. Fourth of his career. On his 10th catch, Essex 
the throw. He's picked off. Austin Bracey has it. And this is looking like a route right now, folks. 35-0. Austin Bracey gets his first interception of the season. He had three last year, and they were all in one game. Jasper rolling left side. And he's going to throw it up. Joey Hall wide open. And you almost feel bad here for the Mox defense. They just do not match up well with the Bison. They just don't have that talent level anywhere quite near what they need to be right now. And here's another fumble, and it's recovered by Zeke Marunde. That is his second fumble recovery of the season, third of his career. And on the fourth fumble is Rich Rodriguez, the true freshman corner. His first forced fumble of his career. Jasper looking to throw left side, and it's dropped by Zoomer's speed. So the Mox do get a stop here. And the Bison will pick a field goal, and the kick is up from long, and it is good. Almost hits the crossbar. But the Bison hit the board again. 45 0 here in the third quarter. Mox 2 of 9 on third downs today. Make it 2 for 10 as they try a draw play. Nanticoke with his eighth tackle today. Oliver Vincent back to return another one here from the 34-yard line. Goes up the left sideline. Nice block. And Oliver Vincent is gone. Touchdown, North Dakota State. It's too easy. Oliver Vincent, one of the top corners in the country. He's too fast. Great returner. And great uh, in coverage as well. Here's Sullivan as he gets it all the way inside the 25-yard line. Rodriguez finally catches up to him. And the Mox get a huge play. Deep down in Bison territory. Essex looking to get them on the board. Finds King out of the backfield. He's gone for the touchdown. Mox strike. 23 yard touchdown pass. It's 52 7, folks. Third down 11 here for the Bison. Jasper Jr. is going to fumble the football. It is recovered by Jake Harlow. Mox back on offense. They got a little momentum here. A touchdown and a three and out for the Bison. So. A little bit of momentum, trying to get on the board again. Second down and five. Essex, right side, caught by Wilson. Great throw over Grant's head. And they actually have their corner out here playing some receiver. And nice pass over the middle yet again. Rich Rodriguez is injured on the play. Hopefully he's all right. He is one of our subscriber players for the Bison. Third down and two. Burgess up the gut. The fullback picks up the first down. Moves in chains. Trying to get double-digit points here today, but this pass is picked off by Oliver Vincent at the seven-yard line. Not a good throw. Vincent kind of ran the route for him. And head coach Colin Northrup on the sideline celebrating with his corner. Here's Cameron May up the middle, and he gets bottled up, breaks a couple tackles, picks up 11 yards and a first down. He is number two in rushing yards and touchdowns out of our subscriber fullbacks behind Brandon Lee of Southern Utah. Gasper. Rolling out right side. He's going to throw the football here. Nanako open again. First down and more up past the 45-yard line. And you might see this as running up the score, but here's another deep shot. Zoomer Speed has the catch on the sideline. Oh, my goodness. That'll get him over 100 yards receiving for the season. And Jasper's going to be brought down by the face mask. Face and give the Bison the first down. Second down and 10. Jasper on the option. Jasper gets taken down inside the five-yard line. Look at his rushing numbers on his career. 1,091 with 10 scores. Third down and one. And they will hand it off to Cameron May. He's got the touchdown. Bison strike again. Three-yard touchdown run for Cameron May. 13th rushing touchdown of his career. Very solid fullback. He's great in blocking as well. And he's had a couple of big receptions uh, last season as well. He's a deep shot over the middle, and that is overthrown. Vincent out in coverage. So another three and out here for the Mox. They're going to punt the football away again to the dangerous Oliver Vincent. And he's going to return it from his 30-yard line. Goes up the left sideline again, and great blocking. Vincent is gone, his second of the game. Too easy. The punt coverage for Chattanooga is... Just lacking speed. And a show. On both of the touchdown returns. Here's the pass right side from Essex. Austin Bracey brings Sullivan down. His fourth tackle of the ball game. Gives him 24 this season. And 91 for his career. Davis has dropped about 75 yards shy of the first down. 
But the Mox do get the ball again here. Essex. Throw it, and he is picked off by Nelson. And Nelson has a pick six. When it rains, it pours, folks. If you picked Chattanooga to win this game, I am terribly sorry. But you were not even close. Let's take a look at the winners of the Discord Pick'em Challenge for this game. There are 23 of you guys that picked North Dakota State to win this game. Here's the player of the game, Zoomer Speed, three total touchdowns, 256 all-purpose yards. But here are the people in the Discord community that selected the Bison to win this ball game. Colin Northrup, RJ Simons, Jay Balmer, MJ Gator Jr., Chris Numa, Wooly Madden, Jason Stark, Noah Regear, Zoomer Speed, Tyler Chandler, Marvin Joseph, Jack Rockford, Xavier Wilson, Kalik Detruth, Joseph Lozano, Alexander Connor, Zach Pryor, Kelvin Jasper Jr., Bryson Shields, Jay Washington, Wyatt Geddes, Eric Tavares, and Tyler Rocky. So congratulations to you guys. You all picked the Bison to win this game, and they won it pretty easily. 383 yards of offense. UT Chattanooga only 158. One yard rushing today for the Mox. They are going to drop to 0-4 on the season. Bison improved to 3-1, and, and they are sitting pretty right now in the Big 12 Football Conference. And I like their chances. North Dakota State and South Dakota State and VMI, they're all our subscriber teams that are in the Big 12. VMI, of course, just lost their last game to Cal Poly, I believe. And the Jackrabbits, we all know what's going on with them. They're having a rough season so far. Their defense can't stop anybody. And they're having some issues at quarterback. Lamar Jackson, he's um, just not really good with his accuracy this season whatsoever. He was the quarterback of the year last season, and he has definitely hit a huge wall here in his sophomore season. So we might go ahead and see some Tremaine Watson for the Jackrabbits going forward, but we'll see how Jackson performs at the end of this week. They have the final game of week six. There are 11 games this week, and all 12 of our schools are participating in week six. Tackles for loss today. There was a lot of them. Nanakoke had 11 tackles. Outstanding for the halfback slash outside linebacker. He's giving Mason Smith a run for his money. Another halfback linebacker hybrid. He plays for the Jackrabbits. But he is injured this season, so that's the only edge Nanakoke has against him so far. A couple forced fumbles. Oliver Vincent. Rich Rodriguez gets his first of his career. He was injured as well. Missed the remainder of the game. Marunde with a fumble recovery. And Brian Nelson, freshman outside linebacker, gets his first career touchdown. Adrian Madison, freshman punter, did pretty pretty good with a punt inside the 20-yard line. Three returns for scores today for the special teams. Outstanding. Speed, Vincent, Jasper, players of the game for the Bison. King, Finley, and Sullivan for the UT Chattanooga Mocs, who are having a rough time here in this series. Our next game, number two, Bryant travels to take on the 17th ranked William & Mary Tribe in a rivalry game. It ended in overtime last season. Will it meet expectations this year? Find out next time, folks. Take it easy.